Uh, first of all, can you uh, bring us up to date on the injury situation with the players, please? Yes, I can. Um, nothing has really changed. Nothing has really changed. No, we still have the same the same players out. Obviously, you were very disappointed uh, with the result at the weekend, and you said that there were, there were lots of concerns. Um, you've not had much time since then, but how have you gone about addressing those concerns over the last 48 hours? Facing them, realising what we have to improve. Not too much time on the, on the training ground due to, to the short time between games, but addressing the, the problems and then trying to find better solutions um, trying to raise our standards so we'll be able to perform again. And how have the players reacted to those talks? What have they said? That's private. <laughs> <laughs> but I can share with you that uh, it's a common feeling that everybody must, must improve. And it's, you... uh, it has to start individual and after that we'll improve as a team. Did you feel as if it was a, a positive reaction? Were there positive talks? Always, always uh, it's positive, the dialogue and sharing the feelings is positive. Then we have to transform that into action. And that's what we want to do tomorrow. Transform the feelings, the words into actions. The way things are at the moment, you always talk about um, putting hard work in on the training ground. Is it going to take a little bit more than just hard work at this stage? Yes, to take a little bit more, has to take... Uh, commitment he has to believe and like I said actions actions um, raising when you, when we speak about raising our standards is uh, due because our standards are really high and we expect them to we expect us to do it again over and over again sometimes it's not possible or sometimes it requires time but one thing is important is the commitment and not having too much time between games we have to face our problems and address them and transform all these things into actions. And always the game is the best way to do it. That must demonstrate ourselves that we want to perform better, raising our standards again and expecting that from each one, each and every one of us, the best of each and any, any of every body, each and the best of each and every one of us is what is going to be the solution for our problems. And you've also said... Sorry for all this. <laughs> I understand. I struggling with the language. <laughs> I, I understand what you said. Um, yes. You said it's been in a difficult period for you as, as manager as well, one of the most challenging periods. How, how are you dealing with that yourself? Like I have to deal. Like I have to deal face uh, the situation, uh, realising what's happening, all the circumstances that happen with us, and trying very hard to, to find the best way to, to help the team, help our players to, to improve. We have to improve our players. This is my, how I address things and my biggest concern. How and what do we have to do to, to improve our players? But would I be right in thinking that that does not involve bringing in new players in, in the window before it shuts tonight? Yes, for sure, for sure. We don't, we don't expect nothing to happen until the deadline. No. Um, obviously, Patrick Cotrone has gone out to uh, Valencia. How do you feel about that move? The circumstances, I, I think, uh, uh, was what happened. We recall Patrick because he was not in the best situation. We, are, we needed one more option in attack. Um, in that moment, that moment, we, we thought, and we still believe that was the best move for, for, for everybody. Now with the arriving of, of William, um, again, dialogue and realizing what is better for, for Patrick and, and all the parts come to the conclusion that for him to go on loan until the end of the season to Valencia was the best move. Are you hopeful for him that, that he can get some, some time and some good form and, and be able to come back to Wolves and, and be part of your squad going forward? This is what we, we expect. This is what we wish for him to, to feel happy again. To, to play his football. A striker is always obsessed about goals and that is main concern. But before that, Patri has to work very hard. Whatever he is, he has to work very hard, commit to a daily work so he can, can start scoring and playing and, and ex 
be what we expect from him, a good option for us in the future. And as far as any further outgoings are concerned, is it likely to just be just maybe young players? I understand Terry Taylor's joined Burton, but are there going to be any other loan deals or anything like that, do you think, perhaps? Possibly, but not... not uh, what, what regards the, the squad, um, we'll, we'll, nothing will happen until the deadline. But like I say, it always can happen a surprise, but I don't expect too many. And as far as Arsenal are concerned, a side that seems to be really improving at the moment. What do you make of, of how Mikel Arteta is, is going about the job there? It's a good side. It's a good squad. It's a good squad. Good squad. Uh, talented players. Um, like all the teams in this in this league, uh, everyone have, have faced problems, have faced um, tough situations, and Arsenal have dealt with them really, really good, and they are playing. And performing very well, so we expect a tough match tomorrow. Thank you very much, Nuno. Thank you. And Nuno, you okay? Hello. Um, you know, Mikel and his side went through a, a similar spell to the, the one you're on, and, and that they've picked up. What have you made of, of Arsenal recently? Okay, yes. So, all the teams um, in the league have faced problems for many reasons. Um, everybody knows that. This season is, is different from all of the other seasons. So all the teams have, have dealt with situations. And I've, I think that Arsenal have dealt pretty well because they are playing very good football now. So they, they've been able to bounce back. And in terms of William, you mentioned him. How's he settled in? Because he, he showed a couple of nice touches at Palace and um, showed a little bit of his quality, didn't he? Yes, he did. Uh, I, I believe that he still has things to to recognize inside the dynamic of the team, but uh, he's a talent player and um, can be really, very, really helpful for us. And um, one of the the things that you mentioned after that Palace game was a, a number of factors. But are you disappointed defensively how you you're conceding the goals in some of those recent games? Yes, I am. I am. I am disappointed, worried. And something that we have to improve. Um, we are considering goals that are that we have our own responsibility on that. When an opponent scores a goal and it's something that you cannot avoid, it's a fantastic goal, a fantastic action. You admit and you move forward, but um, unfortunately, we've been making mistakes, um, and this is one of the things that we have to to improve on. More focus. Um, the end of the game, beginning of the, the second half is happening to us um, too many times. So we want to, to improve that aspect. Is the disappointment as well, because of such high standards you've already set, this is uh, very rare for, for your team to, to be on a run like this, isn't it? But this is what we have now and we have to face it. Uh, the past uh, is there for us to look at it. Um, we are aware uh, of our standards and the expectations, but this is uh, something normal. normal. Inside, we, we know uh, our responsibilities. Everybody has to improve. Uh, going to a, a bad period can happen to anyone. Is how we react to it, how we bounce back. And we are we are committed to, to react. We are committed to, to improve, to bounce back from, from what's happening to us now. Best of luck for, uh, for tomorrow night, Nuno. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, uh, hello, Nuno. When uh, you've got a new signing come in in January, like uh, William Jose has, um, that must be very challenging for the player to, to quickly learn all the things that you want him to do. Obviously, he arrives fit because he's been playing, but... Uh, what, how is that different to bringing in a player in the summer when you might have several weeks of pre-season? I think you focus on the, on the, on the main detail. Pre-season uh, is when you have time to, to really work on the aspects that you want to... When a new player comes, when a player arrives, and you have to integrate him in the dynamic of the team. The pre-season is, is the moment to do it. When you don't have it like we don't have it, in the case of William, it's about recognizing what his knowledge of the game is, 
what you can take immediate advantage of it. And fortunately, uh, William has experience, he's, he knows uh, the game. So it's about recognizing what he can give to you in this moment, at the same time, introduce the, the details and the dynamic that you, that you pretend for him in the future. But for now, it's about taking advantage of what he can give us on the immediate. So, yes, and, and that must require, uh, as well as the experience, a certain amount of footballing intelligence from the player himself. And you can see that, how quickly you, you could see the difference during Saturday. He's, he's, he's learning things as you go along, but that requires the player's got to bring some of that, hasn't he? And he's, he brought, William had brought that. Uh, fortunately, like I say, he has brought that. He has, he's, he has brought experience, he has brought knowledge. Um, and he has, from... Until now, he's a, he's a wonderful guy. He's a, he's a person that is willing to, to listen to his teammates, to us, and himself um, asking his doubts, the language. So we have some barriers to, to overcome, but we'll do it together. Indeed, yes. Um, I heard you say again on uh, after Saturday's game that uh, the, the solutions are within your current squad. Is it is that solution, first and foremost, just cutting out the mistakes? Is, is it, When people think of solutions, then maybe automatically this time you think of new players. But are you talking about simply cutting out those errors? Is that what you mean? The mistake is always going to happen. The mistake is, gonna, is always going to happen. Um, this is the game. But um, when I mean about solutions is finding ourselves uh, things that we do, that we did many, many times so good. One of those is, is uh, being solid, being compact. We did a good performance uh, on that aspect against Chelsea. We felt that we were on the way to, to stick to that. Didn't work out. Um, so we focus again. We refocus if you want to reorganize and we reset for the next one. Um, our job has to be like that until we find, and we cannot say when it's going to happen, it can happen tomorrow, until we find ourselves again of that feeling of, of a, a team, not, a, not individually um, going up and down, but as a team, as a whole, performing well, then we'll we can move forward but I, I recall many times we're speaking about consistency uh, being consistent um, we were always trying to find consistent but we were on the moment that we are not now we are we were playing performing one game good we have to react but now we are not in that moment we have to reorganize ourselves we have to reset refocus and go 